Hey folks, and welcome to another tutorial from phpscripting.com. Today we're going to cover PHP conditional statements to handle search engine optimization. This is a really cool concept. Um, WordPress has been using it for eons now. And while I don't use WordPress, I like to put my own sites together. I did want to show off how I do it with my own websites and websites I build for other people. It's really interesting what you can take from a database and present it in the meta title, meta description, and uh, your H1, H2 tags, whatever you choose to put on that page. In this case, we'll be dealing with the header and the menu, the main menu, where you'll be able to grab the URL you're actually on and pull information from the database in relation to that URL. It's a pretty cool concept and uh, something that everyone should know. So I hope you enjoy this. So here's the website we'll be working with. Again, I base it around guitars. And yet it's called PHP Tuts. We have two pages, our, our index page and our learning to play guitar page. We'll be working with the SEO for each of those pages. So here is the MySQL database table we'll be working with. We have Four columns, ID, MetaDesk, title, and page. ID, of course, is integer 11, auto increment, primary key, MetaDesk, and title page. I will show you the information that I inserted into those columns in just a bit. So here is our header page. This will be our universal header page. If we were creating a full site, this is what we would be using. That's our index page. Notice that it's include header. PHP includes are very handy. This is our learning to play guitar page. We log into our database table. And we can see the information that we've put in. Our ID, our meta description, our title, and the page. I usually create titles from the page, lowercase and with dashes. Okay, so here we have our header page, header.php. We are connected to the database table, of course. We'll do a query, select title page metadesk meta from posts. And as covered in our last tutorial, video tutorial, well, a few tutorials now, we define our variables. This is the information again that we're calling from the database table. Now PHP self URL server PHP self, what that does is it calls the tail end of the URL. So whatever the page name is. That's our source at this time. You can see the H1 class. Now I'm going to put in some invisible break tags. The backslash n puts in a invisible break tag so that it breaks up the code a little bit better. It's easier to read. I've been told the search engine robots don't care about that, but I I'm OCD. So as you can see, we've done our H1 title. So now we can expand on our 
PHP conditional statements a little bit. We've got an else if statement in there. I've also added the meta title itself, as well as the H1 and the meta description. Uh, we've created a default meta description title and H1 that will be presented on the index page. So as you can see, URL equals server PHP self. If the page matches that, which is the variable from our database, then it will present that information, parse that information onto the page. Take a look at our source, see what we've done. This is our index page. As you can see, we have the meta description that we put in, as well as the other information. Sorry, that was rather quick. There you go. Now we're on our learning to play guitar page. Once again, we'll look at the database information, make sure that it matches. It will, once you've got the statements proper. As you can see, everything matches just fine. Now we can take the same concepts and apply them to our header menu. That's the menu right there. What we can do is assign a current link CSS style by calling the PHP self again, matching it with whatever page we're on. So if the home URL equals URL, which is PHP self, show that that link is currently active. I hope this tutorial was fairly self-explanatory. I apologize for the lack of vocals in this one. It's a bit noisy around here right now. It's a little bit difficult to do the tutorial. As you can see, there are some things to learn here, but once you get the gist of it, it's very simple. Now, I don't suggest using this method to grab all content for a web page because it puts an awful lot of stress on the server. Every time someone goes to that page, you have to pull data from the MySQL database. It puts a lot of stress on the server. Perhaps in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to write content to a page. Now, sometimes you're still going to have to use PHP include files. This is a fairly universal way of using PHP. However, for the main text and, and things of that nature, images, you can write them to the, write to the page. This way you don't put as much stress on the server. I hope you learned something from this, and I thank you for watching, and hopefully you'll subscribe to me at YouTube. I've got a few videos up now, and visit my website. I'll have a, another free script up very soon. I've got a really good idea, idea for one, and it won't take me long to script it up. Take care.